Today, we know that, the Sun is the center, and all planets revolve around the Sun. But, just think, before the 4th century, when no one had no idea, about the motion, of the planet. Around 624 BCE, the Greek philosopher believed that, the Earth was a flat disk floating on an infinite ocean. But there was only one clue, that changes the idea of scientists. Is if, the Earth has no motion, then how do the seasons change on the Earth? This idea changes the perception of our solar system. This video going to explain the history of planetary motion. Do you know? The ancient peoples believed that, the Earth is the center, and the Sun orbits around the Earth. Before starting the video, we want to clarify just two things. Rotation, and revolution. See this, when the Earth spins, or rotates around its own axis, is called rotation of the Earth. When the Earth revolves around the Sun, that movement is called the revolution of Earth. In 1543, Nicolaus Copernicus detailed his radical theory of the universe, in which the Earth, along with the other planets, rotated around the Sun. Just think, this theory took more than a century to become widely accepted. In 1610, when Galileo pointed his telescope into the night sky, he saw for the first time in human history, that moons orbited Jupiter. And he thought that, if Aristotle were right, about all things orbiting around the Earth, then these moons could not exist. Galileo also observed the phases of Venus, which proved that, the planet orbits the Sun. Not only that, he found the first satellite ever on another planet, and he subsequently observed the phases of Venus, thereby showing that, it was in fact the planet, that orbit the Sun. It was more, clear, after Sir Isaac Newton invented, the reflecting telescope in 1688. It soon became eminently clear that, the Earth was not the center of our solar system. The final nail in the coffin of geocentrism, then came after Newton published his Principia Mathematica, in which, he definitively proves the heliocentric model, first proposed by Copernicus. Now, we know that, the Sun is the center of our solar system. But, nowadays, many people believe that, the weather changes because, the Earth is closer to the Sun in summer, and farther from the Sun, in winter. Is it true? You can write your comment, below. And, meet you in my next video. Thank you. Let's grow up. Never stop learning.